Pizza Tower, folks. If you're unfamiliar with this quirky little platformer, I'd say its formula, atmosphere, and audio are reminiscent of Wario Land 4, and that's definitely by design. It's a spiritual successor that brings plenty of original ideas to the table and stands as its own meal rather than just a side order. I think what makes the grease really shimmer here is the variety and replayability. It introduces a lot of transformations throughout its stages that mix up the already dense mechanics to keep the platforming fresh and dynamic. And once you got a good feel for the controls and the lay of the land, building up speed and finding momentum for combos is a treat that can keep you coming back for more after you've cleared the campaign. My first playthrough, where I revisited only a couple stages along the way, clocked in at about 6 hours and 28 minutes. But considering that I've been diving back in for more after the credits rolled, I think it's safe to say that if you're a platforming fan who likes setting records or going for completion, you'll get some solid mileage out of the experience. So if you got the dough, you should really give it a go. 